Hey guys, welcome back to just another gaming site. Today we have for you what may just be the best bang for your buck budget gaming laptop to hit the market. To all those who have been shopping for PC parts, you would be familiar with Asus's tough lineup of motherboards. Well, they finally decided to bring that to their laptops and so we have the Asus Tough Gaming FX504 gaming laptop. This is their budget entry level gaming laptop with prices starting from as low as 69990 for the i5 variant to uh, rupees 89990 for the i7 variant. Bear in mind that these are just the suggested retail prices and you can pick these up I'm pretty sure from anywhere from a physical store or online from ranging from 65,000 to 85,000 prices may vary depending on your region and the market and the retailer selling it which frankly in my opinion really makes them worth your while to consider. Now the base version comes with an i5-8300H with a GTX 1050, 4GB graphics card and a 60Hz IPS display while the top of the line variant comes with the i7-8750H with a GTX 1050 Ti, the 4GB variant and a 120Hz IPS panel. All laptops come with 8GB of DDR4 RAM, expandable up to 32GB and this RAM is clocked at 2666MHz and a 128GB NVMe SSD and a 1TB of hard drive storage clocking clocked at 5400RPM. As is expected with the tough lineup, the build quality is solid throughout with little to no flex whatsoever. The port selection isn't bad either. On the left, you have the power port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, one HDMI port, one USB 2.0 port, two USB 3.1 ports, and one combined audio and audio in and out jack for your headset. On the right hand side, you only have a Kensington lock and nothing else. The keyboard is nothing extraordinary, but it was fantastic for what it's meant for. It comes with black, uh, it comes with red backlight and the travel distance is about 2.5 millimeters. It's very comfortable to type on surprisingly and is no slouch in gaming either. So it is a very passable keyboard. It is not mechanical. It is a chiclet style keyboard, but it is no slouch when it comes to performance. The one thing that was a bit disappointing was the trackpad on this laptop. I did feel like reaching for the mouse one too many times while using this. Even though it's running Windows Precision drivers, it's not as good as I expected it to be. So bear in mind when you're using the touchpad, it's not the best. But it's not bad either, so for this price point, I guess it'll do. However, the jewel of this laptop is the 120 hertz IPS panel on the i7 variant. Now that's the one that I reviewed and it is fantastic. Games look crisp and the colors look sublime. And as expected, the laptop performed very well in eSports title, getting around 200 FPS in CSGO at full HD on low settings. And in PUBG, it hovered around the 50 FPS mark on high settings. So rest assured, Gaming is something that this laptop can deal with without any hiccups. One glaring issue though with the laptop is the extremely average battery life. The laptop needed a power top up after just three hours of browsing the internet and watching a couple of videos on YouTube. So expect it to last even shorter if you're going to be playing on the battery. Other than battery life, the speakers are front firing right under the screen and they are very, very loud. Although it does tend to get a bit muddy if you crank the volume up way too, uh, too high. So keep the volume around the 70 to 80 percent mark at the maximum and it should be it should make for a decent media consumption experience. Although for gaming, I would still suggest that, you know, you go for the headsets or the headphones because the speakers just won't cut it as they lack a little bit of clarity. However, considering the price point, I guess Asus here have gone for loudness over a good and broad sound stage. Apart from the battery life, there's very little to fault about the Asus Stuff Gaming FX504 and frankly, it can prove to be a very nifty companion for the gamer on the go or the content creator looking to edit on the move. Coming in at approximately 85k, the i7 variant of the FX504 is the one I would suggest that you guys 
pick up and it can also prove to be a veritable boon for professionals and gamers alike. Moreover, for those engaged in a lot of processing work or running a lot of simulations like, you know, scientists, PhD students or even professionals running a lot of code, the i7 processor will definitely prove to be a blessing in disguise. Essentially, I can say with full confidence that this is a gaming laptop that I have no hesitation in recommending. It's perfect for esports titles and can run AAA games at a decent frame rate at low to medium settings. If you're looking to buy a gaming laptop, this should be where the buck stops. It's just that obvious a choice. But just remember to have a power socket handy. That's about it because the battery life is a bit poor. Well, that's been it for this review, guys. I hope you all had a great time. If you did, please hit that like button. And for more awesome tech content and amazing live streams, hit the subscribe button. And remember to click on that bell icon to get notified because thanks, YouTube. Well, this has been Archishman Pradhan or FET from Just Another Gaming Site signing off. Have a great one, guys.